Friday vlog. Well, I forgot the little micro adapter for my audio, so we're going into the camera again, just like last time. Kind of messy. Uh, let's get into it. Camera tweak. Uh, I'm in portrait mode with noise reduction on because I figured out I like portrait mode the best, so we'll see how that works. Also, I'm starting to sweat again. It's going to be a sweaty one. Um, did I write? I did not. Uh, I was dealing with uh, graduation style stuff, so I didn't get much done. So no writing. Did I read? Also no. Did I, what did I watch? I watched, uh, let's see, I watched Avengers finally and was pleasantly surprised that it was kind of decent. It's still, you know, there's the more you think about it, the more holes you can poke. But it was, uh, like, I I think it was kind of good, actually. You know, the logic of the bad guy, of what he was actually trying to accomplish, was kind of silly, but always is with superhero movies, I feel. Um, I also saw Barry. Barry just keeps getting better and better. Um, yeah, like, what a... What an incredible first season of a show for Barry. Uh, Silicon Valley, also also pretty entertaining, but nothing standout-ish. Uh, let's see if I watched anything else. Just just my Survivor with my with my bros because we all watch Survivor. Uh, writing tip: be collaborative. Um, so. It's really easy to write in a vacuum, and you should be, you know, putting your work out when possible and reading people's work and all that stuff. But more so than that, so much of the writer's room is a collaboration of ideas and jokes and, you know, personalities and all that stuff. So, that. Um, it, do the alley-oop, you know. Don't be, don't be the shooter, be the passer. That kind of thing. I, I there's something there's something really rewarding about everybody on the same page about passing the ball, passing the idea around instead of just everybody taking shots. And I'm as guilty as this is of as anybody of just just taking as many shots as possible. I would argue, stand comedians. That's like all they do is they're just trying bits the whole time. Uh, whereas improv comedians and sketch comedians, it's much more about reacting and playing with somebody and sort of taking a step back and and servicing servicing the idea instead of trying to top a joke. So, uh that, you know. Anecdotally, uh we were we were at a, a pitch thing the other night and I clearly was not of interest of the person I was pitching to. However, my buddy next to me seemed to be hitting it off with this uh, person and I went ahead and serviced that conversation instead of trying to force something that clearly wasn't going to work and uh, I recognized I should be doing that more because it was kind of kind of useful kind of uh, the right thing to do so don't be selfish basically Matt uh, box office uh, I got 4 out of 5 so it was uh Avengers by a billion dollars, uh, Life of the Party, Overboard, A Quiet Place, and I, or no, Overboard, yeah, so it was Avengers, Overboard, A Quiet Place, I Feel Pretty, and I thought it was going to be Tully, but apparently Rampage is still in theaters, I don't understand why, um, so I got Tully wrong and Rampage was doing better at number five this week, it's going to be Avengers, Life of the Party, Overboard, A Quiet Place, and I Feel Pretty. I don't know what life of the party is. That's the only thing I don't recognize. Um, but I think it's probably going to be quite obvious that it's going to be Avengers again. Because that will be the case until Solo comes out in a couple weeks. Which I'm actually hearing positive things about. Specifically the main actor. Which in the trades has been the Achilles heel of that project. So maybe there's a good Star Wars movie coming out this year. Uh, I want to add one more thing to my list. I feel like somebody was watching me. I'm just crazy. Uh, 
I want to I want to end every one of these now with a recommend of a movie that you guaranteed haven't seen. This one uh, came out in 2011, I think, 2012. It was before uh, Chris, whatever his name was, Chris Evans went on to be Captain America. It was right before that, when he still wasn't sure if he wanted to be one of the most famous people of all time. Um, and it's called Push, and it's Chris Evans and Dakota Fanning in uh, Hong Kong, and it's based on the idea that people, some people inherently have sort of telekinetic type abilities and they're on the run from a shadowy organization that hunts them to try to use them as weapons so it's basically x-men but it's it's half like neo-noir thriller and half like like x-men style superhero movie it's really charming and it's kind of well done so uh push with chris evans and dakota fanning and six minutes. So I guess it takes me six minutes to have nothing to say. Or six minutes when I have nothing to say. So uh, do some writing. <laughs>